Hey everyone, my name is Suman and welcome to Purple Pie Studio. So today we are going to learn how to animate a walk cycle in Adobe Animate CC using an illustration created in Adobe Illustrator. So let's get started. In this tutorial, we are going to use forward kinematics or FK rigging techniques to bring our character to life. Let's take a look at the key poses of a walk cycle. A walk cycle is made up of several key poses that are repeated over and over to create the illusion of the movement. The key poses are contact, passing, down and push off. Let's take a look at the timing. The timing of a walk cycle is determined by the frame rate and the number of frames each of the key poses occupies. We used a frame rate of 24 FPS and keeping the first contact pose at frame 1, the next contact pose will be at frame 13, the down pose at frame 4, the passing pose at frame 7 and the push off pose at frame 10. Now that we have a solid understanding of the key poses and timing, let's jump into Adobe Illustrator to check out the layer separation process. This process involves separating the different parts of the character's body such as leg, arm and torso in different layers. In Illustrator, I have designed the illustration in such a way that the portion that is overlapping with the other layer, for example for this arm, this portion is overlapping with the forearm. So I have cut out the stroke at this portion. Also I have cut out this portion as well. Same I have done with the hat. I have also done the same thing for the thigh layer as well. And then I have separated the layers in such a way that the hand, arm and the forearm is in a separate layer. The head in a separate layer, the whole body is in a separate layer. All the layers of the leg is also in a separate layer. I have separated the toe and the foot in a separate layer so that we can add some foot bend. So like this, I have separated each of the layers of the illustration to prepare this illustration file for animation in Adobe Animate. Now we are going to jump into Adobe Animate and start with the rigging process. Now we are in Adobe Animate. Now let's start with a new document. Click on create new. And here you can select any template you want. I'm selecting the character animation. For the resolution, I'm keeping it 1920 by 1080. The frame rate 24 FPS and the platform type to action script. Click on create. Now we're going to import the illustration file. Go to file, import, add import to stage. I'm going to import this file. Click on open and then this window is going to pop up. Here you have to select this convert to layers to animate layers. Select this and click on import. Right now the illustration file is imported in Adobe Animate with all the layers are separated. Now we are going to add frames in the timeline. So for that you have to select one frame then press and hold the shift key and select the same columns last frame. If you press F5 it is going to create frames till this point okay now we are going to convert each of the parts of the illustration into symbol so for that you have to select the layer i would suggest you to select it with free transform tool now i'm going to right click on it after that go to convert symbols and i'm going to keep it movie clip and let's rename it hand one let's move the anchor point and put it over here at the overlap we are going to continue the same thing for all the layers of the illustration. So now that we have converted all the layers into symbols, we are going to learn FK rigging in Adobe Animate. In forward kinematics or FK, if we move the arm, the forearm and the hand is going to move along with it. If we move the forearm, the hand is going to move along with it. This technique provides a natural arc to the movement, which is an important animation principle. This rigging technique is a bit different from inverse kinematics or IK, which we do with the help of tweak in After Effects. In inverse kinematics, the hierarchy is reversed. Here, if we move the hand, the arm and the forearm is going to move along with it. Now let's get back to Adobe Animate. Now we are going to start with the rigging process. So for that, first we are going to start with the hand. So for the hand, we are going to parent hand with the forearm layer and the forearm layer with the arm layer. So to do parenting, we have to make sure that this is turned on. 
show parenting view click on it we're going to select the hand layer click on this area click hold and drag and drag it over here in forum right now you can see there is a line connecting hand and forum that means the hand is parented with forum now if we again do it with arm and forum it means the forum is parented with arm if we parent arm with the body now you can again see the similar pattern over here we are going to do the same for the other body parts with this our character is fully rigged to animate now let's check out the rig so let's select the arm and let's rotate it so you can see the forum is going to move along with the arm and if we select the forum let's move the anchor point over here and rotate it the hand is going to move along with it now we're going to start with the walk cycle animation so let's start with the first contact pose so we're going to change the position of the hand a bit because the hands are completely straight over here so let's select the forum and let's move the anchor point and we're going to rotate the forum let's reposition the forum a bit so that this stroke is continuous and let's select the hand let's move the anchor point over here and we're going to add a little rotation on the hand as well let's select this arm and we're going to rotate this arm a bit let's select the forum and we're going to rotate it this way after that we're going to rotate the hand this way and another thing that we have to do is we have to change the direction of the hand from this side to this side so the legs and the hands should be in the opposite direction in the contact pose now let's select this arm and place it over here let's rotate it now after that we're going to jump on to next 26 frame and we're going to select all the frame in this column insert keyframe and here new keyframes are inserted next we're going to jump on to 13th frame and add keyframes on this column so now we're going to make the other contact pose now we're going to add the passing pose now let's jump on to next 7 frame now from here we're going to jump on to next 7 frame and add another keyframe and we're going to add the other passing pose now let's move to fourth frame and select all the frames and we're going to add a new keyframe so here we are going to add a down pose for that we have to make sure that this foot is flat on the ground and this foot is also straight okay next we are going to jump on to 10th frame here we are going to select all the frames in this column and right click on it and add a keyframe and we are going to add a push off pose now we're going to add a down pose and a push off pose after the second contact pose so from here we're going to jump on to next free frame
Okay, so with this, we have added all the key poses. But for the last key pose, we are going to jump on to next three frame and then select all these key frames and move it forward by one frame. Now we can preview the animation. So to preview it, we have to first look the preview. We can click on it and let's move the end over here. And now to preview it, you can press enter. And there you have it. A complete walk cycle animation using Adobe Animate CC and a character illustration created in Adobe Illustrator. We have covered the key poses, timing, the rigging techniques that are needed to create a simple walk cycle animation. Remember to practice and experiment with different techniques to improve your animation skills. So that is it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you like the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubts regarding the techniques, then make sure to comment down below. I would be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates. Until then, goodbye.